I'm Mike, the Stager Sidekick, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about accounting software for your home staging business. So if you're like most home stagers, you probably create your invoices in a Word document, you copy and paste from old documents, hopefully you remember to change all the fields, uh, send them out to your clients, hope to get a return, uh, hope to try to remember to follow up with them, and it can be kind of challenging. And then at the end of the year, when it's time to do your taxes, you're going through all your files, going through your stack of invoices, your stack of receipts, and just trying to get everything ready for you to do your taxes or just to send to your accountant. Fortunately, FreshBooks is ridiculously easy to use and takes care of all of that for you. So in a minute, I'll show you how FreshBooks works and everything that it can do. But if you would like to try a 30-day free trial of FreshBooks to see if it's right for you, you can go to my website at stageyoursidekick.com slash resources and click on the link there to try it out for yourself. But right now, I'll show you how it works. When you click, click the link from the Stage Your Sidekick website, again, that link is at stageyoursidekick.com slash resources, you'll be brought to a login page. And on this login page, you simply, after you've created an account actually, you simply enter your login name and password. And you're first brought to your dashboard. And on your dashboard, you can see any outstanding invoices, uh, your total profit for the year. On the left side, you, you'll see the different different parts of uh, FreshBooks. But as you scroll down the page, you can also see some different reports that you have available. And we'll get to those in just a, a little bit. First, I wanna start with the uh, invoices. So if you go to invoices tab, you'll see all of your outstanding invoices, your, uh, your recent invoices that were paid. Uh, you'll see some that, that I've had some that are auto paid and there's one that's, that's overdue. Um, and some that are just paid uh, manually, like this one was paid manually. Um, these auto paid ones are recurring invoices. So people have entered their credit card information and so it just automatically bills them each month. Now, the nice thing with sending invoices through FreshBooks is that you don't have to deal with any credit card information at all. So FreshBooks is a very secure website that, that handles the transactions. Uh, so I have never seen a credit card number, nor do I ever want to see a credit card number of one of my clients. But they, the client, my clients can pay directly through FreshBooks and, um, and it goes straight into my account. Obviously there's a small processing fee, but um, that's to be expected with any credit card payment um, system. So if you scroll down, you can also see the, the most recent invoices. So you can keep track of, uh, of of all your invoices. Um, now there's also an estimates page. I've never created an estimate, but I assume it would be very, very easy, just like creating an invoice. Uh, you can look at all of your clients, all of the activity that each of your clients has done. But I also, I next want to go to your expenses tab because on your expenses, you can list out all of your expenses. Some you'll have as recurring expenses and some you can just enter one at a time. So if there's a recurring expense, you enter it once, let it know how often it recurs and then uh, and then it automatically uh, shows up on this so, and within FreshBooks. So for example, that might be your phone bill. That's an expense to your business. So at the beginning of the year, you would enter in or whenever you get your new, new cell phone plan, you would enter in the amount for your cell phone plan and hit recurring every month. And then it automatically show up on uh, as, as in a monthly expense for you. So that might not seem that important right now, but you'll see uh, when we get to the reports how valuable that actually is. Um, you can also plan out or, or list out your different projects, but I, I next want to show you time tracking. Time tracking to me is an extremely valuable tool, especially if you're billing by the hour or you want to see how much time you're spending for each client. Uh, it's very, very helpful and easy to use. So. Once you go to the time tracking tab, you click, you can click start timer and you'll see that this window opens up and it starts, it starts accumulating time. So if you're doing research, say for example, you're researching 
uh, different colors online for a customer or uh, uh, or sending emails to the movers or or whatever just spending if you're spending a block of time uh, on your computer or uh, with it for a client then then this uh, time tracking tool is extremely valuable so uh, within the time tracking tool you can uh, assign it to a client so you can add a new client um, right here you could you could uh, type in the client type in the type of project um, so it would be a home staging project and type of service that you're doing so you could do online research for drapes or what what have you and then if it's a billable you can assign an amount that you're billing per hour and then from that you cannot it can automatically create an invoice for you at the end of the, end of the month that you would send to, send to that client because it's already allocated to them extremely it's extremely easy to use and extremely valuable to know where you're actually spending your time and to know how many hours you're spending um, for a build client so I'm going to discard that um, I'm going to go back to dashboard and one thing that I want to show you that that I feel is very 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 valuable is the invoicing so up here under create new you can also go to the invoice tab over here and and create new but you can create new from the dashboard and these are all the thing different things you can create so I'm going to create an invoice and you'll see that I had already I have a template created. Uh, it's got my this is my top level brand is Remarketing Sidekick um, address name. Uh, it looks like an invoice, right? So you can add a client. So you can add an existing client or create a new one from here. So if you had an existing client, you could just scroll through your clients and just click on them, and all your information all their information is already saved within FreshBooks, so it populates the necessary information. But we'll just create a new client. Bob, call him Bob Jones, and he lives at 123 Main Street in any town, Massachusetts, 12345 zip code. Okay, so we're issuing it, issuing, it, issuing it today, and we can make it due in 15 days. Um, and then down here in the description, we type, enter the, um, the type of work, so uh, home staging for, uh, for Bob Jones, or for let's say let's say that Bob Jones is a is a realtor, so um, and he's hired you to stage uh, one of his properties, and since he's going to be a recurrent, probably a regular customer, we'll say exactly what it's for. So home staging for four five six Main Street. So, vacant home staging for 456 Main Street and furniture rental. So, in this uh, description field, you can add a little more description for, uh, for, for Bob to see exactly what was, what was included. You don't need to go overboard, but it just helps for Bob to see what he's, uh, he's paying for. So, rate let's say he's gonna pay a hundred dollars um, and then you'll see that all of this is automatically uh, updated you can add a discount Bob's a great customer or part of some association that you're part of and you give a, a 10 percent discount to uh, to those types of clients then you can enter in that disc whoops sorry about that you can enter in that discount and it shows up right there 10 percent discount boom now down here in the notes, well, in the, let, let's start with the terms. I typically type, please pay upon receipt. Now I'm no lawyer, no accountant, but I think that kind of says the necessary information. Now in the notes here, you can, um, you can tell Bob a little, a little bit more about what this is for. So Bob, this invoice was for the vacant home staging for your client at 456 Main Street includes three months of furniture rental. Boom. All right, so the invoice is done. I mean, this is what it's gonna look like when it, when it hits, uh, hits Bob's um, email. 
So over here, these are some other important things that you want to go through. Accept credit cards. Uh, yes, you probably want to accept credit cards. Credit cards is a great, easy way to get paid. Again, you never see a credit card number at all or have to deal with credit cards. Uh, FreshBooks takes care of it all by, all by itself and then deposits it into your bank account once you get that, if, once you get that set up. So it's great. Um, now you can customize your, your style. I think the, 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 the basic style of the invoice is, is fine. Um, make recurring. So this is important if, let's say that you are renting furniture to uh, a client on a monthly basis. You can simply have this, uh, set this up as to send to bill on a monthly, on a monthly basis and um, for a certain number of months or, or infinitely until you cancel it. And uh, once Bob enters his credit card information once, it'll automatically bill his credit card. So you never have to go following up with Bill, or sorry, with Bob. <laughs> and it, it's, it makes it extremely easy. So you just hit this make recurring uh, button and see monthly if it's only, yeah, if, you, if, you only will, if he only plans on keeping the furniture there for the summer, um, regardless of whether the house sells or not, um, then that's fine and then you can hit done. So now that's all set up. Um, and now send reminders. Reminders are, are extremely valuable because um, a lot of times clients, in, even though they uh, intend to pay, they sometimes forget to pay. So uh, sending a reminder is, is kind of a nice thing to do. So I typically like to send reminders after um, 15 days. Uh, essentially two weeks and then uh, three weeks and then a month and then um, so you can do that here you send send one 15 days or let's let's make that 14 days and then 21 days and within your dashboard it will show uh, this will show whether uh, Bob has uh, has opened the open the invoice has paid it has not paid it whether it's overdue how many reminders he's been sent that's very, very valuable to, to be able to see all that information. Uh, you can charge late fees um, if, you, if you'd like to. Um, you can change the currency and language, but um, since I, my customers are in America, I don't have to do that. So, and then you hit save, um, enter, his, enter his, uh, his, his email address, and then it'll be ready to go. So that's how to create an invoice. Pretty easy, right? Um, and then the final thing I want to show you is these uh, reports down here. So you can look at your invoices, your expenses, the, 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 all the time that, that you've spent on clients. Uh, those, those are helpful, um, but you know, the, right now I want to show you the profit and loss because this. Uh, since it's the middle of April right now, I just created this, uh, hit, the, hit this button for my accountant uh, for our taxes, and that's all I had to do for my business. I have all my receipts here, all, my inf all the detailed information here, but my accountant just needs to know uh, my income, my cost of goods, um, expenses, and that's it. So he was able to, to do my taxes with that information, and if he needed any in more information, I have it uh, to send him. Uh, alternatively, you can give your an accountant a, a login to your FreshBooks account so that he can look at it, all the information uh, directly. So if he has any questions, rather than coming back to you, he can just see your, your business information directly within, within FreshBooks. And it's just that easy. Finally, I want to show you what you can do with the FreshBooks app on your phone. So log into your app first and then it takes you to your account what I like to do is go to this bottom right hand corner to time tracking and up here this is this is where um, you can tie, track your time say you're driving to a client or you're in a client meeting and you're, and you're not actually at your computer or you're at a home staging uh, site or you're uh, at a furniture rental place picking out furniture or what have you and you but basically you just don't have access to your computer. So at this time, you can use the app on your phone to track your time. So you, at the upper right-hand corner, you click or tap on the plus button 
and start your time. So you'll see that the timer pops up and again you can scroll through your clients uh, to pick which client you, uh, you want to allocate it to. You can add a project, you can add a service, and a little note if you want to. And when you're done, you simply hit the pause button or stop or, or, or log time. And well, I, I don't have this information filled in yet, but it's really a simple way of, of just logging your time. When I start, I start my timer and I just uh, close the app down and, or not close the app down, but I minimize it just so I can use other functions on my phone. And when I'm done, I go back to the, the app and just hit stop and, and log my time. I can go back and edit the time that I spent. So if I, if I forget to stop the timer or, or I forget to start the timer, what have you, you can, you can manually enter how much time you, sp you spent on, on the client. And it's as simple as that. Well, that was pretty easy, right? Hopefully you get as much value out of FreshBooks as I do. Now again, if you want to try it for free for 30 days, please go to my website at stagersidekick.com slash resources and click on the link there under FreshBooks. Hope you like it and would love to hear what you think about it.